Professor McCormick, I'm deeply grateful for this interview and for this conversation that we had. And thank you very much for your inspiring thoughts. And uh, I really appreciate them, not only uh, by being philosopher, philosopher, but also as uh, being someone who, who is kind of helping to run this university on a daily basis and who's uh, very kind of deeply immersed into the all administrative uh, part and thinking about the future of this university. I think um, what you've said is really is really important and also important from the from your perspective, uh, from someone who came here just for a few days but who has very uh, deep sense of friendship, I think, towards um, us and my colleagues and the, the mission that we have uh, at this particular time, this particular country, this um, particular university. And I would very much hope that we will be able to stay, uh, to stay in touch and to continue our cooperation and that this uh, international conference that we had uh, just, uh, just a day ago uh, was also, in a way, a uh, very important contribution towards those goals and um, prospective that you describe in, in our conversation. I would very much hope that uh, this kind of thinking will be a, attractive uh, to our colleagues all over the mm -hmm. country. And I'm very pleased also that they were so much interested in the conference and they were so much uh, happy to participate and to get engaged and to be engaged in our in discussions uh, and, and conversations. And I think that it, that was in large uh, due to your uh, presence and due to your contribution for which again I'm very much grateful. Thank you very much for being with us, Professor McCartney. Yes, well, Professor Turchinovsky, um, I too would like to thank you for your invitation, but especially for the challenge to me personally, to some of my other philosophical friends, of coming here, meeting you in your own home, your own place, at your own time, and offering me the chance to think second thoughts, to think twice about what might count as philosophy in times like these. I myself believe, but perhaps not yet on sufficient grounds, that Ukraine today, with the immense richness of its civilization, with the, the burden of its tragic past, with the uncompleted transition it is going through at an unexpectedly difficult time, I do not understand how higher education in Ukraine today could ever overlook the extraordinary resources that you are in the process of building up here in your philosophy programs, of providing so many highly motivated, intelligent, good students, Ukrainian students, with those extraordinary skills they will need and which Ukraine will need, analytic skills of critical thinking and of self-critical thinking. How could the new Ukraine come through such a difficult transition time without practicing freshly, without learning all over again what critical skills are, how they can be put into practical um, situations into practical practice, and above all, why they must be accompanied by self-critical skills. So reasoned self-restraint, as I was saying in my opening paper, is a call to philosophy, but it's also a call to citizenship. It's not just a call to faith, which has such a renewed important role in Ukraine, it's a call also to the polity, where there are many different faiths and where there is much indifference as well. It is not in the end our job as philosophers to witness to the faith. It is our job as philosophers to somehow or other be part of the ongoing civic community, be at the service of that community while being able to render a reasoned account of our own personal beliefs. Theologians perhaps have other tasks. Philosophers have to be able to offer an argued, reasoned account, not only of their philosophical views, 
not only of their suggestions for the common community and for their country, but also of their personal convictions. But they must be asked about their personal convictions. Their reasoned philosophical views, however, do not require an invitation. They can be offered, they can be proffered in the common community immediately, in the newspapers, in journals, in conversations like ours, but also in these conferences, such as the one you've organized, in summer schools, in inter-university cooperation. So I wish you well. I very much want to return to the former capital of Galicia. I would like to meet more of your colleagues. I would like to listen to more of your students. And I would count on you to push me, to push me intellectually and philosophically to articulate better some of what we all need to pursue in common. Thank you, Professor Dutrudevsky.